ไม่ท้อที่ปากแต่เว้ยI'm actually considering if I should add last names for all families in the troop. For example, Adams for Abby's family. It would be nice if you could give me some advice on this. Would this make it easier for you to recognize their faces, or complicate things even further? An elegant mother of two, Luna and Luca. And naturally, Luna's a stunner just like her mother. Personally, I'd say Ariel is the cutest one of all the babies born this year. Sophie used to be very timid around the feeders. But in order to keep her milk flowing, Sophie no longer has the option of skipping meals. She will have to do this on her own. More food for Sophie means more milk for Ariel. Her daughter's future depends on it. See, Sophie is much more active these days. Glad to see her pouches filled to her heart's content. And Ariel isn't just surviving she's thriving. I see a troublemaker. She was trying to snatch whatever Anson's got. A cheeky little girl with dauntless optimism. I could watch them all day. But Skullhead's troop is usually out of sight past nightfall, alarmed by the creatures that come out at night, namely wild boars and porcupines.
It's like I'm observing them through a peephole. Mom, I think we have a stalker. She's been watching us all day. Oh, Ariel. Let's give Stalker a wide berth. You're a popular kid. The Monkey Hill family loves you. Oh, come on. Focus. As a first-time mom, Sophie should be proud of herself and her daughter. Well, hello there, Bubbles. Has Eyeshadow come to babysit you again? By now I think it's safe to say that Bubbles is Eyeshadow's favorite. But I'm really not surprised. I mean, look at that Energizer Bunny, her exuberance knows no bounds. The wild boars are still unfamiliar faces to them.
back in her mother's arms. This time, Eyeshadow has the eyes of her troop looking out for danger. She sounds the alarm and everyone goes into hiding. <laughs>